Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rain and for today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how I made these kind of booklet that I sent to my pen pals. The first thing that I do is get a paper, a good, good quality paper, something that is hard. You don't really want to use something that's your regular paper which is thin. So you want something like cardstock paper. And I wanted a brown paper since it will look better than a plain white one. And what I'm just doing here is I'm just like cropping it to the size that I want. And I folded them in half so that it will be easier to like for it to act like a book and what I'm doing now is I'm basically just putting holes in the middle so that it will be easier for me to sew in the thread that will hold all the pages together and it doesn't matter how many pages you want but since this is not really a book it's just a booklet for my pen pals I only wanted certain pages so this is I believe three pairs of papers and I just put some holes in the middle so that I can sew in easy and now that there's a hole in there we just want to sew it in and get your thread it doesn't matter how thick you want it and this is the thread I wanted to use so yeah if you really don't know how to sew, then I suggest asking me help from someone who knows how to sew because you don't want to poke yourself. What I love about doing these booklets are basically you can do whatever you want with it. Like it could be your own sketchbook, you can write anything on it, and yeah, you can customize it. Since it is blank pages, you could do whatever you want. It gives you the full creative freedom and if you don't want to sew anything and want something easier then this is this process might be better for you so what I'm doing is I'm cropping the pages into little squares since I wanted this kind of booklet to be more of the square type rather than your regular size book if that makes sense and once you have all the pages that you want, you just staple the side and yeah, basically that's how you bind all the pages together. And to hide that ugly markings of staples, I just covered them with washi tapes and it just makes everything look much more prettier. And as you can tell, the process isn't really that difficult, it's something that everyone can do. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you ex explore your creative side and customize the pages. If you guys want to watch how I decorated these pages or this booklet, then feel free to check out my other video that I posted earlier. And these kind of booklets are really perfect for pen pals since you can put different things on different page. Maybe your letter on the third page, on the first page is an introduction, third page is an art, and yeah, you can customize these however you want them. And that's what I really love about them. And you can design them however you want as well. And you, your pen pal will really appreciate this since it is customized. You put your work into it, and it's just a simple way of being creative. Again, if you guys want to see how I decorated the book that I just made, feel free to check out my other video that I will link down in the section below. Here is basically the summary of the book and how it turned out. And if you guys are new to my channel, these books were basically the price for the giveaway winners. I really enjoyed making them and since I have not done any pen pals letter in such a long time this was so re refreshing to make and as you can tell like I really had fun designing them and customizing the letters the way I wanted them and I did put them in a custom envelope that I made as well and if you guys want a tutorial on how I make my envelopes then feel free to comment down section below 
I am going back on YouTube soon since I do have more time that now it is winter break and if you guys have any video suggestion for me feel free to comment it down below and feel free to look me up on my social medias as well thank you again and have a nice holiday